welcome back to another fabulous video here on my channel. Whereas, if you don't really see my face very often, I am, of course, the person behind people. By the way, there's quite a few new of you people, and um, this is for Simsmas. This is whatever day it is. I don't know. I think it's day nine. Um, I know I missed day eight, so I think it is day nine, because I think I posted day seven. I'm not sure. I keep going back and forth. I have everything planned, but it just takes a lot of work, and it's a lot of videos to post in one day, and it's a long story. Okay, we don't need to talk about it. But, what we do need to talk about today is I'm going to have a series of videos coming out during the month of Sinsmas, um, more towards Christmas, but we're going to start out today. And it's going to talk about the different type of gamer you are in the Sims game. Because you can be a strategy gamer, you can be a family gamer, you can just be a, a person who likes to play the game. And there's certain, for the Sims 4, is what we're going to be talking about by the way, there's certain game packs, sub packs, expansion packs, that are necessary for you to own. If you can own them. The base game is always, you know, there's a lot of mods and stuff out there. If you just have the base game, I highly recommend testing out some mods. Um, and of course, I'll have separate videos for that, but this video in particular is all discussing game packs, expansion packs, and stuff packs. I'm going to announce two for each category, two that I think would help your game the best. You don't need to own every single one of these. Owning every single one of these costs a lot of money, and I personally think out of anything, you just need to... I'm giving you two options for each category, an expansion pack, game pack, and sub pack, so you have multiple options, and so you can figure out which one you want to do the best of. And of course, if any of these options I have reviews for, they'll be linked down below, and then of course, I'm going to link um, some people I think who do good reviews of these things. I have everything from 2016, well... 2017 up the very end of 2016 but that's not what we're talking about today so the first game we're going to be talking about is of course to me family type family type is oh my gosh family type is the people who go into the game and they make a family and they want 10 they want gen 10 generations but i figured with those 10 generations you want your family home you want your family to feel the best right you want your family to f actually feel like a family like when i for instance, I have a family that's on its 8th generation. Now, of course, that family has, like, definitely explored the whole game of Sims 4 because I've had it since the beginning of my Sims 4 days when I first, when, the, when it came out in March of, like, 2015. I've had it since then, but it's still been a journey, and I think everything I'm about to tell you is helping that journey, like, tremendously. Um, and then we have a few other families that I just love that I would never have even created if it wasn't for these particular Game packs, expansion packs, and sub packs. So like I said, I have two for each. Um, and for instance, sub packs, I could mention more, but there's only going to be two that I highlight. Two that I'm going to talk about in detail of why I think those are the reasons. So, expansion packs that we're going to be started. talking about, I'm going to talk about them, like I said, both in great detail on why I think this would help your game if you're a family gamer. So the first one we're going to be talking about is, oh, also, by the way, the picture of the game thing is going to be over here. Um... Also, to go into prices, just for a quick second, game packs are normally around $49.99, or is it 30 I think it's actually $39.99. Yeah, it's $39.99, which is about $40, because Origin has some type of tax, but it's like little tax. Um, but holiday season is coming up, so if you don't have the Sims 4, there's also this whole like create a bundle thing that they do. It's like $50, and you get an expansion pack, game pack, and sub pack by your choice. And, you know, The Sims 4. You have to own The Sims 4 with this bundle in particular. But, you can always find other bundles and things like that. I'm just trying to help you with your, your thing. I can't recommend prices. I can't recommend what you should buy it with. I'm just recommending you what, actually. I can't recommend certain, like, deals they make. I don't know how to say this. Either way, follow my Twitter. I'm going to be announcing when Origin does put all their games for a Christmas sale. Um, it should be happening around, I think it's like the 24th or the 23rd. So, just be anticipating to ask your parents or anticipating for yourself if you live by yourself. That That's coming up if you want to expand on your game. All right, let's get up to the expansion pack. Now, well, seasons can, can be actually used for any type of game, variety games, you know, the whole nine yards. I think seasons can be used, period. Seasons just... I don't add seasons to your game, but particularly family stuff. I think family stuff is important for seasons because you start your traditions with seasons. You can start a simple event. Like you can, um, okay, I don't know. Let's say you don't celebrate Winterfest because you don't like the you don't like Christmas time. 
Alright, or you don't celebrate Christmas time in real life. That's perfectly fine. You can figure out a different holiday in the winter to celebrate that with. Let's say you're in a New Year's and you like celebrating New Year's. Well, you can make that tradition in your game. Harvest Fest, Halloween, which is not Spooky Day, um, Love Fest, um, Winter Fest. Uh, I'm trying to think of like the Sims versions of holidays. I don't. There's one for every single thing you can think of, and it just takes your sim on a journey through greatness. I mean, through beautifulness. And um, of course, if you want to know more about it, I have a review. I'll, I'll put down my reviews and stuff down below. I'll link them. Um, I have a cast review, build and buy, world, like not world, uh, season reviews. I think this is a necessary for any gamer. For The Sims 4, for any Sims 4, I mean for any Sims game. If you buy a Sims game and say you buy Sims 3, I think you need seasons. It just changes the whole game. This one literally changed the whole game. They they reworked the whole system of the game and it, they're still having problems with that, but I think you need it in your game. It's essential. I think, now I'm not going to recommend this to every gamer, um, every Sims gamer, but I think you should have it if you're, you're a family man. Or family woman. Your the next family one I think is quite obvious as well, and that's gonna be cats and dogs. Cats and dogs as another family member to your household, where it's say you want an actual. What? Okay, for instance, I don't want kids when I grow up. I don't like. I'm, I'm not a huge kid fan. I'm not. I'm just not. I'm not a big, big kid fan. I'm a person. They make me uncomfortable. So I want a dog when I grow up. Um, or a cat. I can be interested in both even, but mostly I probably am gonna get a dog. In my sense. Let's Play, which I'll link down below, it's How to Get Famous. Um, I have two dogs, and I love them, like, dearly. And I'm so happy The Sims gave me the opportunity to do that. Also, Cats and Dogs, um, Season the Cats and Dogs, for instance, are some of the most anticipated expansion packs to ever come in The Sims War. So that's also, like, I mean, they're obvious recommendations, and they're probably recommendations you guys already own if you are an avid Sims game player, and you buy at least, like, one expansion pack a year or something like that, you probably own it, but I think it's essential for your game. Also, Brendleton Bay is super cute, and everything you can do with your animal is just adorable, and everything. And I'm not going to mention it's a little stuff pack that comes that you can buy too. Um, I don't recommend it very often. I don't think I'm going to recommend it right now. I just don't like it. But guys, Cats and Dogs, I think it's special, and I think it changes your game, just like Season does, just in a different way. And I couldn't imagine my game without Cats and Dogs. I mean, on my checklist, for Sims 4, Cats and Dogs was literally one of them. Pets and period was one of them. So, yeah. Moving on know. to game packs. Game Kyle. packs are priced at twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah, that's right. Nope, that's wrong. Nineteen ninety nine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, so game packs are nineteen ninety nine. And the difference between extension pack and game pack, um, game packs are more centered, such as not what I'm recommending, but just an example. Jungle Adventures is simply just about jungles. That makes sense. I think it makes sense. And um, where you can do jungly things, whereas an expansion pack would probably have added that in like so much more. They're not it's like spa day is all about the spa, so it's like one item, like one major thing, but just expand it on in like a big way. That's how it makes wins. Now, I have one obvious one, and then I have one not-so-obvious one, which I'm going to put a picture on the screen of one of the expansion packs, but I think you could choose between one or the other. Not necessary. It matters what kind of gamer you are. So, and that's going to the first one. Parenthood is obvious. I mean, it's literally called Parenthood. You get the parenting skill, you get the traits, um, where you're used to literally raise your sim. You can have, your sims can be bad parents, good parents, Average, maybe your ochre parents. You can be a stay-at-home mom, stay-at-home dad. These are all the things coming to. Like, let's say you wanna, let's say you hate your sister in real life. I don't know why you would. I love my sister. But let's say you do, and you want a sibling rivalry. You can even do that. That's how. That's how like amazing this is. So, parenthood. It's it's a, it's a must-have. It's a must-have if you're this type of gamer. I don't recommend this to everybody because not everybody is into this type of gaming. But if you're a family person, what is wrong with you for not owning it yet? In case you can't, I mean, if you can't, I think of everything I'm going to talk about today, I think Parenthood should be like one of your first purchases if you're looking to purchase anything in the Sense War, or if you find that you actually can. 
I think Parenthood is the first one you should purchase if you are in that medium. If you're, like, if you're in the family, the family game. That's the one to go Talk about vacation. So moving vault. forward. Because everybody needs vacation from somebody. Either your wife, your husband, your child, your newborn baby, that puppy that just gave birth to you, but you're kind of mad at the puppy for being there. You know, everybody has those days. And you want to be able to go on those vacations, right? Well, Jungle Adventures, which is the one I'm going to talk about mostly, because I think it's a better world. But there's also Outdoor Retreat, which is not going to pop up on the screen because that wastes too much editing for Jacob. Um, outdoor Retreat is also a major possibility that you could go with. Um, outdoor Retreat, I think, is more family-esque. Um, but you have to understand that it's the first game pack to ever get released in The Sims 4. So, unlike major things, it is somewhat lacking. Yeah, I don't think it lacks, but there's a lot of people who say it does. So, it's up to you. Um, then you have Jungle Avengers, which I think is more like a honeymoon world, or like a trying to escape to find my own life world, but also could be like a family thing, you know what I mean? I don't think you can take your kids to jungle, is what I'm trying to say, but I know you can take your wife, or your husband, or your mistress, or your daughter, or you can find your mistress over there. I mean, yeah, totally. And it's all about exploring jungle, um, finding temples, and it has several different skills. It brings in a whole new culture. The culture is very, very fascinating, and I highly, highly recommend it. Um, I don't have great reviews over Jungle Adventure, so I'm actually going to link a whole channel down below, which I think knocks Jungle Adventure of the park. And then, of course, X Urban Sims, her series, is so underrated, but it's so good. I'm going to highly recommend that, so I'm going to link the whole playlist. So you can watch it and join Riley's fam like I did. It's for the stuff packs. But we're gonna move now. On. One of these stuff packs I'm gonna recommend two with. I'm only going to show one. And then the other one is also, I think, a given. We're gonna go with the given first one, and then we're gonna talk about the, the other two ones. Is laundry so day the given? Now laundry day was a stuff pack we got to create as a community, and so ultimately it's tailored to you. If you were there to create it, I was. I have several videos creating it actually. So if you want to see that process, I'm not gonna link those videos, but you can find them. They're on my channel. Um. It's a phenomenal game pack. It's actually one of my favorites. I don't... Uh, stuff packs, sorry. Oh, stuff packs are also ranged around $9.99. That's for sure. I know that for a fact. Um, it's just like one of those like stuff packs that's all about laundry. It adds a whole new homey thing to your lot. Makes it a little bit more realistic. And um, it could literally change your whole game. If you're into that gameplay, like I said. It's all based on the style of you. Nope, play. kids stuff packs now, and toddler stuff. They go hand-in-hand, hand, I think, and you can try to find a bundle with these two particular stuff packs in it. Or if you can try to get these two stuff packs, I think they go hand-in-hand hand together. Um, and so, kids kids stuff pack is all about children. It adds clothes, it adds void critters, which are like Pokemon, they're really cool. Um, it adds a whole bunch of other stuff to the game. It's a very, very phenomenal stuff pack. I highly recommend it. I highly enjoy it. And I use the I use the stuff inside that stuff pack a lot, um, and we got a lot of things out of it, so that's why I recommend it. The tower stuff is because we don't have a lot of tower things. It's infamous for the ball pit, which was very tacky. I won't lie, but it's very infamous for it. Um, and it's just like it's it just adds a lot of tower stuff. It makes playing with towers a little bit funner, just like seasons, like I mentioned earlier, adds tower pools. This adds, like, a whole jungle gym for them. And it's just interesting. And it adds outfits. But guys, outfits that. that's my recommendation videos. If you're a family type person in the Sims game. I, of course, go back and forth from being a strategist to a family person. And we're going to have a strategist video. Don't worry. Those expansion packs and things like that are a lot more selective. So, it's a very much easier game to go with. Um, and we're going to have, like, a, I don't know, a random player. Because I'm a random player. So... I know I like, and so we might talk about that for some today video, but these videos are very important for what's coming up at my announcement on Christmas. We'll get there. We're not there yet, but if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below. Hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys all next time. Don't forget the bell button, because tomorrow's Christmas video is very special to me and dear to my heart. I'll talk to you guys soon.